problem that I ran into in the last flight was that they have a problem to teleport inside of buildings. So if you're going to do a Bella Noir, Bella Noir Libero, Libero, however you want to pronounce that, uh, try to do it away from stuff like that. But these altars always break. No big deal if it does. Not a big deal, really. Alright, warps away, pops back in. Jesus. But as you can see, the dragons just melt. In probably about a minute, we just slaughtered everybody, or had everybody slaughter her, I should say. And with it, got a multi-climate under t-shirt, you get an egg which I presume is for her, and then you only get one ancient core. I'm going to assume that you can either get a higher level undershirt or more ancient cores for the libero version. But yeah, as you can see, it didn't do a damn thing, and everybody here was enough. But yeah, I will see you guys in just a second. Alright, now that we're here, go ahead and take a look. And there you are, a Bella Noir. Without existing, she quietly gazed upon the world. One day she was seized with a longing to be seen with unbridled lust for vengeance against reality. Thus was born the Eclipsed Siren. Nice. Go ahead and take a quick look at the journal. As you can see, minor differences. But when activated, attacks targeted enemy attacks targeted enemy with a powerful nightmare ray. No habitat, kind of figures. But Bella Noir Libero has a pinker hue, and this one's a purpler hue. Um, I won't do anything to this pal yet. So that way we can compare everything in between, but, eh, not really stuff I want, but, hey, it's decent, 111.59, nah, it's alright, I guess, actually. But I will see you guys once we get, uh, Bella Noir Libero ready to go. So, walking into this challenge, or at least the challenge for myself, I kind of underestimated Bella Noir Libero. Considering how fast I got through the first boss, I figured it'd just be bing, bing, boom. Maybe I had to do some strengthening here and there. Maybe give them some food buffs. You name it. But after attempting this for three times, I finally managed to get towards the very end of the boss's health bar. Only to find out that they decided that they want to change her moveset entirely from dark to ice. They want to have her regenerate. They want to also add in a new moveset in addition on to the, her old moveset so that way they, she can sit there and just blast through everything you're doing. I admitted that it was going to be a, a challenge, like I said, but nothing could have prepared me for this. And I do understand that there is a campfire cheese that you can do, and if you do that, I, I'm sorry, you are a coward and a cheater. Do better. But... These next couple of runs, I won't, I'll, I won't show you all of them, I'll spare you of that, but these next few ones, over and over and over again, did I make it to the end and get my arse kicked. So in an attempt to strategize this, I started off by moving the location in which we fought Bella Noir from the feet of the Anubis over to one of the starting islands to have lower level creatures around, as well as it having an open and flat area. From there, I turned around and I upgraded all of my Jetragons that I had on the team. I got them up to soul level 30, uh, upgrading the attack, the health, and defense to the maximum, and then turning around and uh, homogenizing as many Jetragons as I could to give them one to two star boosts. That didn't work out. And then, 
came, the only idea that I could think of is if you can't hit them with quality, hit them with quantity. And so for the next seven days, I grinded out nothing but Jetragon farming over and over and over again. So the pals were a problem, yes. After a while, I gave up on Jetragon leveling and raising, and I went for Blazamut so that way I could have a whole bunch of fire types. However, the only thing that was stopping me towards this end part was the fact that when I was trying to fast swap my pals, hitting the Y button did not fast swap the pals out of the box. And I died several times to it. You can go ahead and listen to me rage here. Dude, again, I'm fucking hitting Y. Why, again, are you not dropping out my fucking dragons? Anything for that matter. It seems to me for every bug that they've been fixing in Power World, they added in another 10 that break the game. However, I pressed on. I kept raising more Jetragons, I raised more Blazamutes, I went with other creatures in my box that didn't really matter. I went with an Incineram Noct, I went with Jormant Tide Ignis, uh, you name it. I added those into the fleet. And after seven days, I finally managed to hit the winning run. And you can see how that went. All right, I since then upgraded everybody with food since the last fight. And hopefully it's enough. I genuinely know what else to do at this point. Yeah. I hit phase two a couple days ago and this is where I've, I'm at now. I have literally three pages of pals to burn. I don't know what else to do. Genuinely, I don't know what else to do. I keep having problems with why. Why? I don't know. Sorry, I forgot it was nighttime. Let's go deal with that. I don't care about the food. They don't live long enough for it to last anyway. I get it's an early access game, but bugs are afoot when I'm trying to do a fast swap to keep the pals going. I should be able to click Y to get them out and click Y to get them in. But it's not working, so yeah. Yep, good morning. I put my bullets away, ha! Damage is a little bit better. Holy fuck. Um, it's not crazy. Besides, I'm not really worried about this phase of the fight. This phase of the fight is pretty much nothing. It's the second phase of the fight that I have the most problems with because when I'm trying to do a fast swap, Y just ceases to fucking function. Or, as I should say, the fast swap. I'll deal with the attacks. I can deal with minor stuff. See? Again, why, why, why? Nope, nothing. The extra 10% boost seems to be doing some work. I will not lie. Some of them have 10%, some of them have 20%. I use omelets and the, the locomoco. So I hope that's enough to keep up with this. Once again, you're attacking a sign. Why? Nope. Okay.
All right, Pegasus, give me a, a, a freeze attack. Nope, okay, that works too. Second stagger. Can we get a stun from the lightning bolt? Nope, no stun, okay. It's all my dragons. Yeah. Oh, get ready for the phase transition. Oh, come on. There's how many other pals here? Ooh, that's tough. Hang in there, guys, for just a second. Please don't all die off at the same time. I need to be able to swap out. Oh my God, it's the same fucking thing. Once again, I am hitting Y and it's not fucking swapping out. Please, for the love of God, swap out. I'm not moving from this fucking screen. We're at 63k. I'm gonna die from this. Stop, 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 stop. Get off the fucking screen. We actually have a chance, come on. Just keep fucking spamming swaps. Come on. It's like I don't care who it is at this point, we're sending everything I have. Come on, that's 8k. That's 3k, come on. Everybody at the same time. Oh my fucking god. I mean, shoot. <laughs> you know how fucking hard that was? I don't care anymore. You know how fucking hard that was? That's a week worth of shit. That's food boost, that's everybody one star, 30 fucking plus soul level. Where's my shit? No, fuck you. 
After all of that, there's a fucking another level? I'm not dealing with that. Wait, okay. Before you guys go, I did want to show you what the glasses do. Now that I have five of them, or five ancient cores, you can see it gives you a health, attack, and defense stat. This one has the best uh, attack stat out of all of them. This one actually has not a bad defense stat, but I don't care about any of these. And then... Um... Fucking around. Bella Noir Libero. Um... Her name's Bitch. That's the reason why all the stars are there. 80, 94, that's actually a really good pull. But... I'll show you... The stats for both of these guys. Uh, without existing, she quietly gazed upon the world. One day, she was seized with a longing to be seen. With unbridled lust for vengeance against reality, thus was born the Eclipsed Siren. Um, interesting. With her desire let loose, she was soon overwhelmed. She longed for herself to gaze upon herself. And the sisters who gazed, resenting reality, were driven into the abyss and at last closed their eyes. Huh. Obviously, there's a third phase of this. I don't have it yet. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will show you what this does. Siren of the Void is a 20% boost to dark and ice attacks, as well as two of the three, I guess it's only actually two, uh, exclusive moves, um, Ring of Flames, the one you need to jump over, and then Nightmare Bloom, as you've seen. She'll teleport and then blast you. But I have given her some ice attacks to go with it. And yeah, that's all I can really say. Uh, she's a bitch.